In this problem, we're told if a car generates 18 horsepower when traveling at a steady 95 kilometers per hour, what must be the average force exerted on the car due to friction and air resistance? So in this problem, what we're trying to do is find the average force. So we're trying to find force. And so we're given uh, horsepower, right? So we're given power. And so in order to solve this, there's an equation you need to know. You need to know that force is equal to power divided by velocity, right? So you can order this however you want. But essentially, we're trying to find force. And we need to have the power and we need to divide it by the velocity, right? And so what you should notice is that we're given power and velocity. But when we do this, we need to make sure they're in the correct units. So let's write down what we're given first. So we're given that the car generates 18 horsepower. So we know that P is going to be equal to 18 horsepower. And then we also know that the velocity is going to be equal to 95 kilometers per hour. But when we do this, you need to make sure your power is in watts and then your velocity is in meters per second. So we have to manipulate these uh, to turn them into watts and meters per second. So let's go and start with the power. So 18 horsepower, if we want to convert it into watts, you're going to do that by, there's, well, you need to know that there's 746 watts for every one horsepower. So if we multiply by 746, uh, right, because there's 746 watts for every one horsepower, that's going to give us in uh, watts, right? So if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get 1,000 or 13,428 watts. So now we've got it in that, right? So uh, 13,428 watts. And now we need to change this into meters per second. So 95 kilometers per hour. If we go ahead and multiply that, or we know that there's going to be 1,000 meters for every one kilometer, right? That would cancel that. And then it's in meters, but we need it in seconds too. So there's 3,600 seconds, or there, there's one hour for every 3,600 seconds, right? Because it needs to be on the bottom because we're canceling it from the top to the bottom. So essentially, this is going to give it in meters per second. So if you go ahead and do this, right, take 95,000 or 95 multiplied by 1,000 and then divide by 3,600, you're going to get it equals 26.38. So 26.38 meters per second. So that's going to be that. And now that we've got it in these two, we can just solve. So force equals take your power, which is 13,428, and then go ahead and divide by the watt or the velocity, sorry. So if you divide by the velocity, 26.38, so this is meters per second, and then this is in watts. So if you go ahead and do this, 13,428 divided by 26.38, you're going to get it equals 509.02. I'm going to go ahead and round this just to 510, just to make it to be in the tens, right? So 510. And then when you do this, it, it's measured in newtons. So if you take watts divided by meters per second, it's newtons. So it's going to be equal to 510 newtons. So the average force exerted on the car due to friction and air resistance has to be 510 newtons. So this is your answer, and hopefully you found this video useful.